In this video, we're going to learn about the order of operations, and we're going to use everything we've learned so far to tackle some problems. So by the end of the video, you should be able to evaluate these two expressions with variables where I give you specific numbers for those variables. So post your answers in the comments below, and a solution video will come out in 12 hours at the time of posting. So suppose we have a super complex expression like this, negative x plus 3 cubed minus y squared plus 4, divided by y squared plus 2 plus 1 all squared minus x. Now, How do we know what to do first? Well, we need some sort of process that tells us what to do first. Intuitively, we do stuff inside the brackets first, but after the brackets, how do we do multiplication, addition? How do we do our powers? Well, we have a typical rule for this called the order of operations. Some people learn an abbreviation called uh, bed mass, some people do uh, PEMDAS. There's a lot of different, uh, what are they called? A lot of different acronyms for these that you can say. But the general idea of this, and they're the same no matter what, is first you do everything inside the brackets. So on the example on the right, I have 3 times 3 plus 2 minus 2 squared over 2 minus 1 times 3. So what the order of operations says is first we should do the brackets. We should do everything inside there first. And that gives us 3 times, well, 3 plus 2 is 5. I'm going to subtract 2 squared, and I'll divide that all by 2 minus 1 times 3. Okay, I'll separate this a little bit so we have a little bit more space to look at these. The next one says we should do exponents. And this is the same thing as powers. So if you have 2 squared, 2 cubed, and so on. So at this point, we're going to do 2 squared. So we're going to have 3 times 5, we're going to leave that on its own, and we're going to subtract 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is the same thing as 2 times 2, and what's that? Well, that's 4. Okay, and then on the bottom we have 2 minus 1 times 3. Now the next thing it says is we're going to do division and multiplication from left to right. So on the numerator, on the denominator, we do all multiplication and division. So this means on our numerator, we're going to do 3 times 5 first. And on our denominator, we're going to do 1 times 3 first. So this is where things can get confusing. You see this on social media all the time. Uh, what is the answer? 2 minus 1 times 4. And people argue whether you do 2 minus 1 first or 1 times 4 first. You do multiplication first. So what we're going to get here, well, 3 times 5 is 15. And then we're going to subtract 4 on top. Then on the bottom, we're going to have 2 minus, and we're going to do 1 times 3 first. So that'll be 2 minus 3. Okay, so now we have to do some subtraction. Our final step is to do all of the different multi uh, addition and subtraction. So on the top, we have 15 minus 4. On the bottom, we have 2 minus 3. So this will give us 11 divided by negative 1. So what you'll notice now is now that we've done the subtraction, we have a new division we have to do. So we can go back to the previous step. This is just a priority list. This doesn't mean do all the brackets, all the exponents, all division, all addition, and then it's over. No, once you do addition or subtraction, or you do things in brackets, a new pa something might come up again. So you just go back up the list and you always tackle it in the priority. So always do brackets first, then focus on exponents, then division and multiplication, then addition and subtraction. If you, have addition or if you have subtraction or division that comes up again, then you do that before you do any more addition or subtraction. So at this point, 11 divided by negative 1, well, this is the same thing as 11 times uh, negative 1 over 1, if we think about division being the reciprocal of multiplication. So this is just the same thing as negative 11. So this complex expression up here evaluates to negative 11. Now let's do two more examples. Okay, here's kind of a, a really gross example. I have 24 divided by 6 times 5 times 3 squared plus 2 squared, and that's all over negative 30 plus 3 squared minus 5. So if we remember our acronym, I'm going to choose bed mass, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. First, we do the brackets. So we do everything inside here, 3 squared plus 2 squared. Ah, but if we just focus on the brackets here, 3 squared plus 2 squared, there's different things going on here. 
we have exponents, and we have addition. So we have to follow the same priority list inside. So inside the brackets, first we do the exponents. So we're going to end up with 24 divided by 6 times 5, and inside the brackets we do the exponents first. So 3 squared is 3 times 3, which gives us 9. 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. And then we keep the denominator the same. So negative uh, 30 plus 3 squared minus 5. Okay, we still need to do what's inside the brackets first. So at this point, we're going to do 9 times 4. And that is going to give us, to write out this whole thing again, 24 divided by 6 times 5. And now inside the brackets, 9 plus 4 is 13. And then on the bottom, we have negative 30 plus 3 squared minus 5. Now, I don't see any brackets on the bottom, so I'm just going to take care of the exponent right away. So 3 squared is the same thing as 9. So we're adding 9, and we're subtracting 5. Okay, so now on the top, we have division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction to do. On the top, it's all division and multiplication. So we tackle this from left to right. So first we do 24 divided by 6, then we do 24, and then we do that number times 5, then we do whatever number we get times 13. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. So we're going to have 4 times 5 times 13 on top. And that's going to be negative 30 plus 9 minus 5 on the bottom. So next we're going to do 4 times 5. And then we're going to do that number times 13. So 4 times 5 is 20. We'll multiply that by 13. And that'll be all over negative 30 plus 9 minus 5. Okay, so now we can do 20 times 13 on top. And that's going to give us 260. Now on the bottom... We're subtracting and adding a bunch of things. So we're also just going to do that from left to right. So we'll do negative 30 plus 9 first, and then we're going to take that number and subtract 5 from it. So we'll end up with negative 30 plus 9, which is negative 21, and we subtract 5. That's going to give us 260 over, well, what's negative 21 minus 5? That's negative 26. So finally, we're left with a fraction. This is just division itself. So when we divide, we're going to do 260 divided by negative 26, and that is going to give us a final result of negative 10. So we've taken this complex expression, we've used the order of operations, and we've gotten ourselves to negative 10 as a solution using brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and then subtraction. Let's do one more example with absolute values. So where do absolute values fit in on this list? Well, Absolute values, you can treat them like brackets. So treat them like brackets and focus on them first. So I see two brackets in here. I see 2 minus 3, and I see this absolute value of 2 minus 4. So I'm going to focus on these two first. But what is 2 minus 3? That is negative 1. I'm still squaring that. I haven't done the square yet. I'm going to subtract 6 times. But what is the absolute value of 2 minus 4? Well, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, and when you take the absolute value of that, you're just getting your positive number back. This is distance, if you remember. So absolute values are always positive, so this will be minus 6 times 2. And on the bottom, we're going to have 31 minus 2 times 4 squared. At this point, we have some exponents to take care of. So we're going to deal with negative 1 squared, and we're going to deal with 4 squared next. So this is the same thing. What is negative 1 squared? That's negative 1 times negative 1. Two negatives make a positive, so this is going to be 1. We're going to subtract 6 times 2. And on the bottom, we're going to have 31 so minus 2. And 2 is going to be multiplied by 4 squared. Well, 4 squared is 4 times 4, and that's 16. Okay, at this point, now we can do multiplication and division. So we have some multiplication 6 times 2 and 2 times 16. So let's deal with this now. So this is going to be 1 minus 12, since 6 times 2 is 12. And that's going to be divided by 31 minus, well, what's 2 times 16? That's 32. Okay, at this point, now we just have addition subtraction left, or really just subtraction here. So 1 minus 12 is negative 11. 31 minus 32 is negative 1. Now we're left with our fraction, negative 11 over negative 1. So... We have a negative divided by a negative. That will cancel out, give us a positive. So we're left with 
the final result of 11. So this complex expression above simplifies down to 11 in the end. So that was three examples with order of operations. At this point, you should be able to do these two questions. There will be a solution video posted 12 hours from now. So post your answers below. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll answer them the best that I can.